Wrestling Roundtable. Joining us on the panel here to my right, which would be your left, is Chris Harris, a fan of 15 years. And our second topic here tonight is can American fans accept foreign wrestlers? Now, obviously, right off the bat, a lot of American fans are going to think, well, foreign wrestlers like Tajiri, Funaki, not exactly mid-card, let alone main event wrestlers. Are the fans, like the general fans, WWE, maybe even TNA, are they too trained in a specific American WWE style to accept a foreign wrestler? I think it comes down to booking, plain and simple. I think that if I'm watching Raw and I see someone like Morishima from Ring of Honor come running out and just destroy someone in the ring, I'm going to get behind him. I don't care if he's Japanese, Canadian, American, I could care less. Whether he can speak English or not. I, it doesn't matter. S stick a, you know, Estrada on him then. Stick some, give him a manager. Hire Larry Sweeney. Hire somebody to be his mouthpiece. And just let this guy tear through your roster and you will have a giant name built right there. Do you think the fans are too trained to accept something so different? No, because I, I personally think that Every wrestling fan, you know, male, female, old, young, we all want one thing, and that is something different, something new. And I think foreign wrestlers. We just spent a whole that. segment talking about how it's the same shit for 15 years. And I think that's why we all feel deep down inside. We may be watching, but I think everyone's looking for something new, mm -hmm. something to break the ground, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, foreign wrestlers, you know, because, you know, even indie wrestlers, they are all trained to be in the WWF. You know, whether they pretty much... In I Mexico, think, they're trained to be in WWE. No, I'm not talking about in, in the States. Okay. In the Indies. States. Indies in the States. Yeah, I think every wrestler is trained like this, more or less the same style. All right, so when you get a foreign wrestler who's trained outside of this bubble and comes in with a whole different style that immediately catches your attention, I think that fans will get behind them. But what's the counterbalance here? Um, you take a guy who's the perfect example here, like Mysterio. Fans love him and have historically in America. But in WCW, he was a lot closer to his Lucha Libre AAA roots than, let's say, he has to adapt that into a WWF style. Well, I think, I think, I think that's with any, I think WWF just, you know, any wrestler, whether they're Mexican or not, they just have to adjust to their style. By design. By design. They make them. They make them. It's not. I don't think it's mysterious choice that he has to take it down a few levels once he got. That's also to save injuries, though. How many times has the guy been hurt? He's only been with the company for five years. He's save been injuries or save He'd face. He'd still be doing the same style. Yeah. Save face, like Juventud Guerrero. When he got the tryout, they said, "Don't go all out." And the dark match, and he did. Why? Because first of all, he doesn't give a shit. And second of all, because it's gonna make the other guys look bad. Like, do you remember the Ahmed Johnson shoot? Yeah. Ahmed Johnson said that in 96, Shawn Michaels, the champion at the time, took him aside and said, hey, look, you're doing Don't all this high-flying the stuff, this, these punches and stuff. Who's going to care if I do it when the 300-pound guy is doing it in the mid-card? Which makes sense, but you know what that means? Only Don't, if you're trying to save face. Social Darwinism, man. If Ahmed's the guy that can do all that stuff, just like Brock. Brock could do what Triple H couldn't, so... Exactly. Jealousy. That's what I mean. Yeah. Jealousy. It's yeah. not to do with being foreign at that point. Mm -hmm. It's just... Shit, this guy's better than me. Uh-oh, and he's bigger and he can do all the stuff I can. Now, we're talking about a lot of foreigners coming into WDF, and a lot of times, like I mentioned with Juventud Guerrera, they get stuck with these horrible oh, fucking God. stereotype gimmicks. Nothing is more embarrassing. When I tuned in, tuned in years ago to SmackDown, oh, yeah. because I knew Juventud, Psychosis, oh, that's what Super Crazy, <clears throat> excuse me, they're all good wrestlers, that's why I tuned in to watch. But then when my sister sees me watching and they're coming out on lawnmowers, I have to explain why I'm watching this but stupid crap. It's la it's being yeah, lazy. It's, yeah. it's just being lazy. Yeah. It's like Vince looked out his window and saw a couple of guys cutting his lawn. And That's just like, like, oh, this, this would be a great gimmick. But Hoovy and, and, and Super Crazy and a lot of these guys, the fans like. Uh, the indie fans, okay? The, mar the smarts like them because they're foreign wrestlers. I mean, Sometimes, yeah. let me just make a point. Chris described, well, more, he, what he just described as Morishima is Umaga. Now, Umaga would have been just as over doing Umaga if he was looked like Samoa Joe without the cl clown makeup, as you put it last episode. However, when he becomes a Samoan bulldozer, even Estrada is a stereotype, by the way. But when he becomes like, he a Samoan bulldozer, it's like almost like a joke because he's like a savage. And when he screams, he's like, 
Well, you know, we've been seeing that for years, well, for years. But what about the so, Nitro fans? When the Lucha, well, I mean, everything was hot in Nitro '97. But the Luchadors, when they came in, guys like La Parka and Psychosis and Juventud, they Mysterio, were because they were doing cool shit. Right, they were having the hottest matches because on the card. Because WWE fans weren't trained the same way WWF Attitude mm-hmm. fans are. It works both ways because a lot of times people like Morishima is over because if he's over. He's over because the Japanese fans, uh, the American fans, have, those smart fans have, an, have this respect for every Japanese guy just because he's Japanese. Like, Muda sucked for a long time, and Liger's not who he used to be, and Masao is still the man, but obviously he's fallen off in years. Kabashi has had a lot of stuff. Well, that's I mean, we, Chono. Yeah, but Morishima does not deserve the same respect as Chono and Muda, but he gets it because he's Japanese, and the smart fans are trained if, to, to... If to they're Japanese, same. they're... If Morishima's name was... Big Joe dancing or something. And he came out and he was like, Oh, my hair came over in water. And he did it. Yeah. And it sucked as bad as Morishima sucks. <laughs> then he, I've he, for people wouldn't realize like, like, it was Big Joe lot. dancing. That would be pretty cool. Do you think if they're stuck with a stereotype gimmick, that prevents them from getting over? Sometimes, or will the yeah. talent rise above that? Yeah, the talent can only go so, so far as what the writers let them. You know, they. That's for everything. You know yeah, what? They could be everybody. doing hot matches, but as long as you're riding out in a lawnmower, how far Yeah, it, you it's counterproductive, out. too. But then it helped yeah, Eddie. It did help Eddie. I was just about to say Because when Eddie put that accent on, which he didn't have in WCW, he started coming out with the cat- Cadillac and everything. Yeah. And, you know, started calling himself Latino Heat. It can actually get behind that. But did he rise to that level based on his talent I or th- that he fit more into the WF mold? I think I he think had a lot of charisma. Movement. It was charisma and it came through. He just ran with it. You need a character and, and you work. need ability. Goldberg didn't come out as a rabbi. Okay? Yeah. He was just Goldberg. You know what I mean? But it's weird because, like, back in the day, WWF used the fact that Bruno San Martino was an Italian American and a lot of people from Brooklyn would go see the shows and Pedro Morales was a uh, Latino, he's Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican, and there was a lot of Puerto Rican fans, they used that to draw at Shea Stadium. Because most of Shea Stadium that night were Italians and Puerto Ricans mm-hmm. rooting for their side. They do that in boxing all the time. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a stereotype to get over. The guy can just happen to be another, uh, another ethnicity that helps his drawing power. You think John Cena qualifies as a stereotype? Great White Hype. Uh, it's... How come they that type of what? Well, how come they won't <laughs> take... That I mean, of like a, a guy from White Boston, Rapper, obviously. or you know, a guy well, from yeah. Boston, or how like come, a white guy, uh, black. How come, a guy who wants to be in the military? How come a black man can't be in the same position as Cena, having the belt as the main event or their oh, top star that, for a oof, long time? That's, well, you well, know, they're, they're, uh, why did they go for the real deal instead of the white boy Mark Wahlberg clone from Massachusetts like or whatever? Or something. Well, yeah. I mean, he's the UPW boy. They, you know, saw, I guess, a lot of potential in him. He did put on a good first match. But how come Lashley doesn't come out as a thug? Would you buy into it? I didn't buy one Booker T was if like... He, if he had the mic skills, I would. He doesn't have the it factor to him. He's very soft. Well, hopefully you'll buy into the next segment, because we're going to take our break here, and we'll be back with more at the Wrestling Roundtable. All right, welcome back to another edition of the Wrestling Roundtable, and our topic was, can American fans accept foreign wrestlers? You mentioned Takeshi Morishima, who was recently Ring of Honor champion for a long time, and my question is, can you take someone like, let's say, Kenta, Marafuji, Morishima, the Noah guys who've come into Ring of Honor, on a small scale, Ring of Honor's got a devoted following, can that translate in a main event spot in Ring of Honor to a main event spot on television, whether it's TNA or WWE. I think someone like Kenta could do it because, I mean, you look at CM Punk, he's stealing his moves. If yeah, but Punk that's different. It, Punk's an American... Uh, Warriors. <laughs> uh, Punk's an American white boy. Now, with tattoos, yeah, that makes but, it better. Yeah, but he's how many of the WWE fans <laughs> are <laughs> actually straight edge? Anytime I go there, all I see are guys holding beers and wearing those straight edge shirts. Yeah, but it's but, just a gimmick. They but it's just a gimmick. Yeah, but, he's American. And the question is about foreign wrestlers. I think that the fans certainly are trained to expect a certain style. However, like you look. said, they are keen to something different. This idea that you need to have mic skills and all their character maybe even evolve. That's bullshit. The Hardys got over, what, nine years ago? Goldberg. With barely think, saying anything. Goldberg never said Kane. anything. I think foreign about. wrestlers will help him out. Like, this guy was retarded. For example, <laughs> all right, let's talk about my favorite wrestler of all time, who's not American, Bret Hart. 
you know, he helped join. He's not like sick. He helped join the Air Force. And you know what? And when in '97, when he started, you know, really playing into the whole Canadian theme. And you know, almost started this like oh, you know, okay. Canadian yeah. American war. That's different though, because he's that. white and he speaks English. He's from North if America. If you take someone like Kenta, so so they have to not speak French Canadian guys English never got a war like that. Bad English. Take for example, Ken, the, someone like, who you know, has someone had has had main that. event level runs yeah. in Ring of Honor. In a very Kenta. small promotion. Yeah, I'm saying, can that translate? Sorry. Oh no. Why? So you, you're saying to because like WrestleMania because and this is not a knock on anybody. This is the WF's way. They'll find a white guy who will do that same same shit. All right, punk. But in a dream world where they won't look at that sort of thing, if the WF took someone and pushed him, going pushed back it. to Bret Hart though, he moves. wasn't the typical at that time. Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man. He was also he was a a Kenta, is Kenta is no Bret Hart. Kenta is no Bret Hart. All right, forget yeah, Kenta. Let's talk about someone they did have over under contract match. and who was getting over. Tajiri. Why couldn't he, instead of being... He was uh, over as a stereotype, though. Okay, but he didn't speak much English in the first place, and he was putting a lot of cartoon angles with Regal. That's why he got yeah. If he was a straight-up, like, buzz killer, like yeah. in ECW, yes. do you think, like, if he was putting yeah. a program... He could, it could have worked. Oh, of course, of course. If they I don't, mean, just, wrote it. Like just imagine, you know, with, uh, with Super Crazy, how the ECW fans, when he got on the ropes, would count uno, dos, tres. I think it easily could have been translated. In yeah, yeah, but that's more stereotype you know. bullshit. It goes, it, yeah, like but I, I think that's them it accepting a foreign wrestler. I think that's down. their way of accepting a foreign wrestler, counting the punches in their yeah, language. It's just them, that's their way of being part of the joke. You know, I don't think it's a joke in ECW. And then the Spanish version of Shaw, Shaw, or Balls, Balls. That's just the super crazy version. Well, let's look at what's happened, let's say, in the past 20 years. There hasn't been a foreign wrestler to win the title outside of Yokozuna, who wasn't even really foreign What do you mean anyway. foreign wrestler? You mean like a stereotyped gimmick, or you mean like, like Rock doesn't Legit. count as he's Samoan? He's not foreign. foreign. I'm talking like taking someone who yeah. has a name overseas. Let's say okay, when Jumbo Saruta winning the AWA title, I mean, I, that think, was, I think they can. Is Muda being on the level yeah. of Flair and stuff? I think, I how come more of that doesn't happen? Because, I mean, just think about this in 97 yeah. when, you know, they're bringing in uh, the great Sasuke and they're showing promo packages. I think they do that for someone now and build them up to a world title. Can, I think the fans would easily We all agree it can't be contrived. I mean, the fans got behind top. And they have to do like they did with Eddie, was you, or, or, or Pedro Morales, or Bruno, and use their ethnic background to add yeah, another friends. dimension to the character, what about, not to make fun of the character. What about someone like Claudio Castagnoli? He was supposed to be brought in last year. Right. You know, he's not from America. Could he have worked? Do you think he could have gotten over? Well, he's also vague and uh, speaks English and white. Uh, so he's got he an accent. Yeah. He has an accent. Let's what? go back into history a little she's bit far. now. Let's go back to Super Astros back in 99. Okay. You look at that dun, show, dun, dun. and it's a lot of big Mexican names. They have El Hijo de Santo, Negro Casas, and if you look up these names, they're big main event level Mexican That's wrestlers. Mexican. Now, now that they're touring these uh, foreign countries, which means business is down. <laughs> suppose when they go, to, hey, yeah. suppose when they go to Mexico, <laughs> what if the main event was Santino, and the main event's him and El Hijo de Santo? Why doesn't that ever happen? We all know now that WWE has plans to, or are thinking of, opening up different brands. Gag me with a spoon. Leagues <laughs> in foreign countries like your Europe brands, and brands. Mexico Navy and whatnot. Yeah. Do you see that experiment or that thought coming to, to fruition and being successful? No. No, I don't think so. When they go to these foreign countries, they're doing really well, so they think, well, we can continue doing really well. well, well why, do, why do we have to have well, Kane versus Big well, V? I think I, well, that's why, because the that's Japanese it. fans always like the big, juiced-up guys and the big, fat guys. We're not talking about just Japan, though. They're Europe. talking about Europe and uh, yeah, Australia and whatnot. American yeah. stars going overseas. It's a novelty. It's, but, but they always, it, it'll probably fail because they won't book it right, but whenever there's Britney Spears tours in another country, Michael Jackson goes overseas, whatever, they draw are huge because they're American novelty to them. Yeah, but do you uh, really think they can sustain, sustain that? a promotion? No, no. I don't think so. It'll get old fast. Dude. Right. You know, once people realize it sucks. Three months. Because people are educated in other parts of the world, than like here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you've had some sort of an education here, and we're gonna sign off now. We'll be back with our last roundtable of the year. I want to uh, thank the panel for joining us, Brett Simonello for joining us as well. We'll be back next time. Thank you for watching.